Okay, welcome. We're doing the review for the S&P 500 for Thursday, November 21st. Now, stick with me. I know there's a lot going on in my chart. I'm going to walk you all through it. And I really think by the time I'm done, it's going to be very, very clear. There's actually not that much going on. If you just look, I've just drawn some lines and some numbers to support some of what I have uh, posted on here. So I just wanted you to have a very clear visual with that. So we'll start with the basics. We're looking at a five minute chart on the futures contract, the E-mini S&P, the December contract is what we're still currently trading. On here, I have really this blue line, which is one of our prediction points. And I have this orange line, another one of our prediction points. So that being said, I want to start with the first post was at 616. I was a little late getting these posts going. I record a video every morning for the members of MAP, which is where we break down how to trade prediction points. And I record a video for our members on that uh, every morning and post it in there. So it's a little late getting that going. But you can see it's 616 and I've drawn an arrow to that's right here in this area. So that's while the market's doing this. I said pretty decent chance we pull back to at least 31 points or 3101 1.75 and even 3100. Below that would be for 96 and then 94. So 3100 is right here. And I didn't want to complicate this too much but 310175 is right there uh, right there and we did come down here when we broke initially it was 02 half and then bounce back up a little bit and then this was 3100 quarter one tick off of what we said originally it and then so we said a pretty decent chance that we would come at least down to here now that was back here when the market was trading over here at 10 area and that's nine points away down to here. So there's a nice nine points if you like that. And then if you really were doing everything that there was to do, there is a buy opportunity here using 3100 quarter. And it came back up to here to our prediction point at 04 quarter. Actually, I think that price was 04 half. But um, and it's just at 04 quarter on this chart. And then it, it, that's one tick. So we don't need to worry too much about that. So then the next thing that I posted here at 652, and I want you to see right here at this time, that was right here when this candle was forming. During this candle, we said 3100 area and we got 3100 quarter. So close enough. If that's the low, meaning right here. And not sure that it is, but we will get some confirmation as we go along. Important to watch on the way. Obviously, the CPA here, that's this blue line. And then 0575 and 07 half and 8, or 073 quarters and 8 half. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So we said, pretty likely we're going to come down to here. Well, we did that. So there's nine points down to there. And then said... Oh, and there was one other post in here that was a comment about, I'm actually going to pull up map, that right here at 655, you can see that we said that it was hard to say, I'm going to just copy that and put it on the chart here. And I'm not sure if you can see that, I will make it a little bit bigger for you. Hopefully that helps you be able to see that. We said it's hard to say any real buying is happening unless until they take out the CPA. That was at 655. That's on this candle right here. And the CPA is this blue line. So 04 quarter, 04 half, whatever it was, 05 quarter was the high. That's four ticks. So traders are asking questions like, where do I get long? Where do I get short? Well, you know, how do, where do I put my stop loss in? 
Well, this trade, you could have gotten short here within a couple of ticks of this. We normally say two ticks. So we gave this price at 3,100 even. Two ticks in front of that would have been 3,100.5. It traded to 3,100 quarter. So you were negative. If you bought two ticks in front of the price we gave, you were negative an entire two ticks for probably two seconds. Sorry, one tick for two seconds. And then it came right back up here. And from, oh, so this is three points back up to here. And if you sold a couple of ticks in front of this, you may have been upside down five or six ticks at some point during this trade. And then it came back down here, and then it came back up here, and then it came down. But we said right here, unless they take out the CPA, and they didn't take it out, they only broke it by a few ticks. Unless they take that out, there's no real buying happening. So what does that mean? It means we want to sell up against that price. So we're selling up here against this price, and it moves down all the way down first price we said 96 look what happens this blue line look right here 96 at 6 16 in the morning i drew this line right here look what happens 96 the low right here 95 half two ticks and then it bounced back up here 99 quarter bounced three and a quarter points off of this so when it came back down here this is not holding we're down to the next price 94 quarter lows 93 half broke this by three ticks so three ticks we broke here and then we moved all the way from 94 quarter all the way back up to the cpa and notice what we said if we were to get above the cpa then it would be 0575 so look what happened we got above the cpa 0575 it broke it by one tick then it traded down to here to 3101 remember what we gave earlier in the day 3101.75 traded down to 3100 broke 3175 by three ticks and then it came all the way back up here and look what we said right here 652 we said if it got above 0575 it would be for 0775 or eight and a half the high eight this is 0775 right here you can see this arrow drawing to that this is 0775 so you could buy 0175 over here and then it moved up into here and then selling that back down into here and we can see that we've since started to make new highs or we're starting to move into higher territory again but we said that all of this was just a pullback as long as this doesn't break down because if this breaks down we had a long ways to go another 20 something points for today so that it was a this would have been a significant break so really great buying opportunity and then you can see obviously we've moved up quite a ways from there so there you have that so really fairly simple fairly straightforward here and the key to this is you want to put these prices on your chart and you want to watch it and you want to see how the market's reacting to it follow along with the comments and you can see that there's 0575 market used exactly what we said came down to here to 01 up here to 0575 sold off here for nine points so here's nine points here's 10 points here's 10 points i don't know what you might have done on this here's uh 01 to 08 that's another six or seven points here's another um from seven three quarters all the way down to 98 half the point being this most of you are not professional traders and if you are great you can obviously see we've got something here but if you're not a professional trader and you're not killing at trading then what do you need to do two points three points four points in a day well this is here's three points right here first opportunity here three points there you go so there's three points here's nine points on this trade here's ten points on this trade ten points on this trade so the real question is, and by the way, this is very basic stuff I'm showing you. There's 
traders that are getting long here and then taking their profit here, buying this pullback, taking profit up here, buying this pullback, taking profit here, buying a pullback, taking profit, buying, taking some profit, getting short. So there's traders doing that. I'm just trying to get you going on the very basics here. So hopefully this little bit longer, more in-depth, breaking down the market, breaking down how we're using these prediction points, hopefully that is helpful for you. And, you know, we're doing this. We want to help you be successful as a trader. So if you have questions, please reach out to us. You can comment here on the video. You can message us. You can email us. And we are happy to help you however we can.